Hey guys, welcome on my trip. Today we will heading on once again into the volunteer work I did at the film studio. Then I share different Salvation Army projects with you I visited during the last month. And finally, last but not least, I will share about the experience I had at the Rose Parade. So stay tuned. So let's see once again what's happened in the film studio. If you haven't seen the last video, just go for it, have a look, because I told you there how we started the whole process. Today we dive into the editing. The editing is everything what's happened after the video footage is taken. The first thing they're doing, they're organizing all the different videos to see what kind of footage they have. They start to put the pieces together to one story. Once the story is built up, they start to build more footage at the top of the video. Kind of, the sound stays the same, but they put different videos as a top layer to explain better what the main character is saying. And finally, they are coloring the video, so the whole video looks the same style at the end. And the last step is to put everything online to share it with the community. I also want to share with you about different Salvation Army projects I visited. But it was hard to get good videos because of the privacy of the people. But I did my best so you will have an idea how it looks like. Let's start with the Bell Shelter and Institution of the Salvation Army who offers sleeping places for over 600 people. Huge! And they have Grappen, they have an ARC for people who rent food through a program to become sober and they also offer apartments for people who went through the program and they are still sober now. They have also a gardening program for the people from the shelter so the guys they can go over there, they can help in the garden and actually the vegetables they are growing there goes to the shelter kitchen. At the core in Santa Monica I had the chance to meet some guys who went through this whole Salvation Army program to become sober and now they have been one week away to become soldiers of the Salvation Army. And I was fascinated because they didn't become soldiers because they had to, but because they spent their whole life in the Salvation Army. During their whole process to become sober, they did different commitments to the community around them, but also to God. And to become a soldier was like a final, or at least a next step into a process to being sober. Yes, I'm staying sober. Yes, I'm staying with God. At the Salvation Army in Long Beach, it was interesting to see how the Salvation Army is serving families. They have social services, but at the same time, they offer dancing classes for kids. They have a gym, and everybody can go there to making sport, to running around, playing basketball. They have also a soccer field. They have running machines. And it's available for everybody who wants to go there. So it was interesting to see another aspect from the Salvation Army. The last thing I want to share with you is about the Rose Parade. The biggest parade in the United States. Over 700,000 people are coming to the city for this day. And the Salvation Army is a part of it for over 100 years now. The Salvation Army in Pasadena invites every year soldiers from whole North America to come to the parade to march with them. And this year, even a group from South Korea has been a part of the team. The guys from South Korea, they also had different concerts around Pasadena during this time. And we have been on one of them. And it was so interesting because at the same time, they had brass instruments, but on the other hand, they had like traditional instrument like sitters or like traps and they play and it was not just a concert it was kind of having a small window into their culture all these people the locals the north americans and the south koreans went together to a camp to work on the pieces for the parade they have been different rehearsals they have been even a trip to disneyland and at the end, everybody went to the parade. Because I don't play a brass instrument, I was a flag carrier. And I marched with all these other guys six miles through the whole city. And it was interesting to see, because on every meter, thousands of people on the street. And all of them said, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. And everybody was enjoying the time together. Next up will be San Diego. I will go to a community center, a croc center, who offers different services like swimming pool, like ice skating to the neighborhood around, and I'm looking forward to spend this time there. 
So feel free to subscribe right here if you want to know how the train goes up. I also have some extra videos for you. Go to my YouTube page and you will find some short videos about Joshua Tree National Park, about the shipwreck, or about some other hikes I did during my time around here. I'm so happy to have you on my journey. Be blessed.